Hi, welcome to another Cajun Toy Review. Today we're going to be looking at the iconic Destro. When someone says the name Destro, it's not like two or three different characters that come to mind using the same name. There is only one Destro. Uh, this character is iconic when I think about Cobra. It's either him or Cobra Commander is usually the first things that come to my mind. And then maybe Tomax and Zemont and that sexy Baroness. But yeah, Destro was uh, one of the characters I, I remember from the cartoon. He was... Um, Anytime it was on there, it was it was usually him him and Cobra Commander kind of going at it. Destro had like this sense of honor. Uh, him and the Baroness had this like on like this love affair kind of going on that was always hinted at on there. Uh, but yeah, Destro's character uh, a little bit more involved in the comics stuff. He's actually the twenty fourth uh, in his family line, and the mask he wears is uh, his ancestor was caught selling weapons to both sides, so it's a punishment, and they all wear it. So hey hey. That's that's some hardcore stuff right there. Uh, Scottish, he has his uh, family's emblem on his chest. But yeah, Destro um, is in charge of the Mars weapons program. He's basically uh, arms Tony Stark of the G.I. Joe world. He uh, also started his own little team called Iron Grenaders, where he had the gold helmet Destro and stuff. And uh, a couple cool vehicles back in the original G.I. Joe line. But uh, we're talking about the classified ones, so let's take a look at Destro we got. So, uh, there actually is two versions so far of Destro in this uh, classified line, which is pretty impressive because it's, it's not a very big line. That we're at like 26 figures currently. Uh, let's see what Destro comes with. So, Destro comes with three accessories. First one is this really cool looking uh, gold pistol. And it looks kind of like, um, it's almost got a little bit of sci-fi with this chamber and barrel on it and stuff like that. But really cool definitely looks like something that Destro would have on him you can fit it in his holster which I had it originally you can actually also put it in this really cool Cobra emblem briefcase which inside you have this is supposed to be money and then you have your little Cobra ATM or computer or whatever you want it to be for whatever you're doing but yeah if you wanted to put the pistol in there you carry it in there uh, jangle it around but yeah cool looking gun like I said anytime they have a holster they can fit the weapons on their persons I love it so there we go and then he also has this crazy looking pistol right here it's got these little detail right here with the red and these little gauges and stuff a big scope on the top but yeah this looks really cool this looks like some kind of crazy advanced weapon that could do some damage you know um with Destro, you never know what you're going to get. I mean, he's got weapons and surprises all over him, including on his body. You got wrist rockets right here, which those were used a few times in the cartoon. Um, for the figure himself, he has this family medallion right here, which has got a little bit of movable. Um, I always loved his little collar right here. It kind of looks like almost like a cobra head. His waist looks a little strange, but yeah, the detail on the arms... Got these little detail right here, which is really cool. Got that bare chest, that manly chest right there. Um, I think you can see, I don't know if I can get close enough, but you can see the detail in his eyes. He's got some beautiful green eyes. I don't know if you can see right here. I mean, just the light. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. This cool looking belt right here. Looks like maybe a buttons or something on it. You know, that shine on the helmet. Uh, Got some pouches right here. Now his holster is connected to the leg, so that's going to limit a little bit of his leg movement. Not so much though. No, I take that back. Um, I'll just be worried about the wear on that, but it looks fine. He's got his ab crunch. This little gauntlet right here doesn't have anything on it, but you would assume it would with Destro. Yeah, his leg looks like this leg looks like it's a little bit proportions off. Kind of see it looks a little bit off. But yeah, got the uh the little lines on the pants, little so got your knee pads. His legs are a little tight. I might have to put him in some hot water. Uh the boots, got these little straps on it, uh, a little steel toe detail on the top. Got your rocker here, your rotation, your knees, leg rotation. You can get you can get some high kicks on Destro. So, um, but yeah, get the lines up right there. So this one, 
about the same, even with that holster on there. Waist, ab crunch, head rotation. You can look up about that much you would expect with the collar. Um, down, really not much at all. That's pretty restricted right there. You know, full arm rotation, of course. Nothing hindering that. Um, got your rotation right here on the bicep. And of course, you got full wrist. Uh, both of his hands are trigger hands, like most of the Joes. So you can dual wield if you wanted to. Um, which this pistol right here, the sci fi pistol, doesn't actually have a, um, a trigger on it. So it's really the only the gold one that you're going to have a finger in. And like, yeah, that's pretty tight. But so yeah, you can go guns a blazing. But overall, very sharp figure. Uh, it looks like Destro. You know, he's uh, less is more kind of with him. And I, I, I mean, I like the accents right here. Uh, the red really pop, makes everything else pop. And of course, that that head is is classic. You can't do that without that. Um, maybe a little bit more on the boots would have been cool. But overall, great figure. He has a peg hold in the back. Uh, he doesn't come with any back uh, backpacks or anything like that. Uh, you can't. It'd be nice today. Maybe had an additional thing for that, but not necessary. Uh, but yeah, just get the little detail in the back with the shoulders right here and how this comes around. And on the back piece, so very very cool addition to detail. But overall, Destro, great figure, like really great. Um, for being like in the first wave of GI Joes and one of the first figures that they put out so far as classified, they're nailing it out the park. Um, this pretty figure is pretty easy to find still uh, if you're looking for them. There is like a variant called the Prophet De uh, Director Destro or Pimp Daddy Destro. <laughs> Sorry, um, we'll be looking at him a little bit later, and that's a whole different story. But Destro, I've had to give him, I give Destro an 8 out of 10. You know, I wish he maybe had like one more accessory or something a little more. Um, I love the backpack that is, I mean, the uh, briefcase that is classic. Uh, I'll probably be doing a cool diorama with that. And uh, everything else is great. But uh, yeah, give us a comment, give a like, uh, subscribe. Be doing some more G.I. Joe's in the future. Uh, some NECA, some Turtles, some Batman, some Marvel Legends, and a lot more Joe's. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.